Oh, it's little Friday. Welcome to Wednesday. And today we've got another crazy maniac Lamborghini Urus Esteso, the wide body version. Now, we've done a film on this car before. Uh, you guys can click on the top right hand side of the screen and you can watch that film. It's probably our most successful film on the Supercar Diaries series so far. And this is a proper reason why. It's just a monster, this thing. It is so brachial, it's so brutal. It's got the wide body kit on it, so everything bulges. You can see it over here along the side, side skirts, and then also at the back. It's got a complete carbon fiber bonnet over here. The section in the middle, that's visible. The rest of it's been painted, but the whole thing is carbon fiber. Under there, that four liter twin turbocharged, beautiful engine producing in this car 782 horsepower and more than a thousand newton meters of torque. An absolute monster. Probably the highlight of this car is the sound that it makes. It is stupendously loud. <laughs> really it is. Um, in the other film that we made, you guys can listen to that. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're waiting for me to step on it. <laughs> we have a board in the office where we've documented how light the cars are. And we're going to fill that in and see, well, what car has it? What car is the loudest here at the Novitec Supercar Diaries? So, yeah, that's that. Um, <clears throat> another thing about this car, you guys have noticed, it is a beautiful grey colour. This is the very, very special thing about this car because of the kind of grey. It's not your crayon grey, it's not your typical Porsche grey, it's none of that. It took us 31 attempts of carefully mixing the colours in order to get it just right. And then this fantastic combination with the orange here as well. In the film that we made on the other one, um, it was uh, a dark color, I think it was black, with the sort of lime green. This is a personal preference that you can have these sort of color accents on your Rurus Esteza. If there were a car, if there was a car in the world that I would daily, that is just like way OTT, this is it. And I'm not going to, it's difficult not to get into the details if you see the carbon fiber everywhere. Just come over this side. Uh, the rear of this car is just magnificent. So the last thing I'm going to tell you before we listen to what the sound is like. It's got this dual top wing at the top and then a lip here on the back, a three-piece carbon fiber. Then with a carbon fiber accent in the middle at the back and then of course carbon fiber spoiler. And you have the most manic exhaust on this car as we said. Uh, that is our exhaust for this car. We're very proud of that. <laughs> Super, super proud. So let me turn this around and then hear what that exhaust sounds like. There was something I was meant to say and I forgot it. Something about, yes, okay. Yes, there's the other thing. Uh, so the new Urus is out, it's got the facelift and, and we'd absolutely love you to tell us what kind of color we should get. I was just seeing that house move. It's a crazy thing at Novitec. These buildings all move. They've got, uh, got solar panels on the top and then depending on the angle of the sun, the entire building just turns. Let me show you the motor. You can also see the inside of this hood. There we go. Twin turbocharged V8. Oh man. If you want to do yourself a favor, Watch that video with uh, earphones. <laughs> you can watch this, uh, this little exhaust clip with earphones as well. If you don't want to listen to anything else in your life again. It's got the little neighborhood friendly mode. This is your neighborhood friendly mode or neighbor hating mode. 
with this you change everything just you wake people up you blow them away by the way this is the button that makes all the difference so see what she sounds like Park. <laughs> the tail tips they're also from us and you can even fit them onto the standard exhaust of your urus if you don't want a barking exhaust but you want um, to have it look like this then you can get these and we'll fit them on for you but this one's so much better so um, I think we need to get the microphone for that because that's not going to be able to deal with it. So what I'll do... <laughs> it's so hot. <laughs> it's hot? Uh, it is. <laughs> it's so hot. <laughs> Josh is steady with a four kilogram gimbal in the sun. <laughs> what do you think, Josh? It's hard to tell. DBS was 110 and it also had that sort of slight barking. I think this one is louder, maybe 114, something like 114. that. 114? Okay, I'm going to go 118.7. <laughs> just a guess. Let's go get the stuff and then see how large she is. Alright. We're going to start uh, this is Tesa and see what she sounds like with the flaps closed. Normal? All right, that was with the flaps closed. I don't want to show you how loud that was. But now... <laughs> how much did I say, Josh? Uh, 118. Point? Point 0.7. Oh, no. Can oh my it? gosh. 118.6. Congratulations. Neighborhood unfriendly. Yeah! <laughs> you know what? Let's see how long Chris waits until he totally he breaks out in sweat. It's so hot at the moment in Germany. I think it's like 33 degrees. There's no air con. The car's been sitting in the sun for literally hours. Welcome to our very first showing you the exhaust deci battle. Something we're going to do every time now when we measure a car. The ones in red on the side, these are the Novitec cars and the others are the others. They are comprised of uh, cars that have been tuned like the Apt RS7R but also standard cars like the Aston Martin DBS and the SF90 before we actually did anything to them. So you're going to see the SF90 here in original and very soon you're going to see the SF90 somewhere over here and that means that we have fitted a sports exhaust system for it. I'm so excited about that one. So far the loudest car we've had on the Supercar Diaries channel was the SVJ, the green monster. <laughs> Heck. Well, that wasn't fair because we filmed it in that hallway. Okay, so what we did is we took the SV Roadster that had the same exhaust system on it and we did it outside here. <laughs> One hundred. 
128 comma one decibels. The A12 in Lago 128.9, nearly 130. Evo after that with 128.765 LT. This is with our exhaust system fitted to it, 125.6. Then the 599 SA Aperta, and then topping in at just over 123.8, the Ferrari F8. This is the list we're gonna be working on, and of course we need to add our Lamborghini Urus Estezo. What was it, 118? comma six, which funny enough, ends up at the bottom of our list. You wouldn't say, hey, Josh, when you s uh, listen to the sound of that car, no, it's it just sounds loud. ridiculously loud. It's almost impossible to think that that's the softest of the loudest cars. But if you see it, 118 comma six, it's still way louder than any of the other cars. That is our exhaust desi battle for the day so let us know what cars you want us to rev up for you and we'll put them on the list thank you so much for joining us and make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can see more desi battles take care ciao